Welcome to Code with Kurt. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created a comic book lookup screen using the Marvel Developer Portal APIs. And I wrote this in Google Sheets, and I'll give you a quick demonstration of it. So in the character, I'm going to type in Iron Man. And then from there, it'll clear the screen and pull back everything that begins with Iron Man. And it gives you the character, the description, and a picture. And it'll load through all the characters it finds. And it pulls back everything that Marvel developed as a character. And then from there, you can click on Comics. With this date range, it'll pull back the comics that were on sale between these two dates. So I'll click that. It'll switch you to a different sheet, clear that out, and then start pulling in the comics for Iron Man during that date range. Starting with the most recent date, and then it flows to the oldest. The data I got to pull in comes from this website, the Marvel Developer Portal website. And from here, you can just get a key. You have to sign up. They'll give you a free key. And then that key is used to call the APIs. And I'll just briefly show you the ones I used. I used this characters one to pull in the characters. And I used this comics one to pull in the comics for each character. And you can see there's many more here that you can use to develop. So in this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process of how I put this together using Google Sheets and the APIs to call the data. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start a new spreadsheet. And the only thing that I use to put this together is really just Google Sheets. I don't use any add-ons or anything, and I just use the APIs. So let's first get the layout of the spreadsheet first, and then... I'll show you what I did to get the API to sign in and stuff to get the, the keys and stuff. So I'm going to first start with our first sheet. Rename it. Character. And I'm going to add another one. Rename this to Comics. at the key. The key one is where we're going to put all our um, public and private keys from the API and I'll, I'll show that last. But let's first get this designed out here. So we're going to create our uh, basically our search boxes. That and then uh, start our header for our row and we're going to move all this to 18 font kind of give some more space out Darken that up. But it was white. All this till. So there we got our first page lined out with everything we need here and we're gonna have that function 
we're going to script a function that populates the rest. But we have this one first. Now we're going to move the comics and lay this one out. Much the same way as the first sheet. Insert a checkbox here. Or head a row in here. There we got those done. Um, I forgot to name the sheet, so let's go ahead and name that. Um, we'll call it Marvel. Uh, care. We'll do comics. Comics API. There, did that. So that pretty much takes care of this setup here. And then our last one is the keys. So we're gonna have to get our key values and I didn't really I'm trying to stretch this column out a little bit here. There we go. And this is where you need to go ahead on Marvel Developer Portal and sign in and get your key. And you press this, and then your key should there. That is my key. So you, you got your public key and you got your private key. And what you want to do is you want to take this, your public key, take it over your spreadsheet and put it in the first column here. First row and column. Then take your private key, copy that over. Now you may not see the key because I got them hidden um, for security reasons, but it's basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the public key and the private key and putting this in row one, column one, row two, the private key in row two, column one. And then I'm going to do a date, a uh, date function here because it needs you to pass, to work these APIs, you have to pass something unique. So I'm going to use this as my unique value. So you need basically these three things to call the API. And we're going to store that on the key sheet. So now we're going to go back to our character and then I'm going to start the script for this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to build our script. Um, I'm going to go to Tools and Script Editor. And uh, we can call this Marvel Comic API. Do that first. And this is basically two functions I'm going to make. Um, the first one, I'm going to kind of copy this code over in chunks. Instead of you watching me type all this, I'm just going to move it over in chunks and explain each part of it. So the first function I'm going to bring over, and this is part of calling the API, is the MD is the MD5 uh, conversion hash conversion. It's a cryptographic hash function, and what this does is we're going to give it three things to create a hash code. 
we're going to give it the private key, the public key, and that date. The three things I had on that key sheet. And basically it's going to come up with a hash, um, a hash value to send with the API. And then over there it's going to decrypt it back and it's going to see that I had my public key, my private key, and some unique value and then it's going to send me the data. It's kind of the security part of the API. So I did not come up with this function. I did find it online on one of the on one of the help sites out there and this thing works really well. So I haven't had any issues with it. So I'm not going to take credit for this. This is the function MD5 and I'll show you where I use it in the script. So the next thing we're going to set up is the main function of this program. It is a on edit trigger. So there are certain fields that I built in triggers to change different codes and change the screen up. So I got one where if you put a new character in and hit return, that's a change. And then from there, it'll refresh the screen. And I do that on some checkboxes too. When you check the box, it comes up with a triggered reaction. So I'm going to start building this in chunks and I'm going to explain each each part of it. So we have the get data is what I'm calling it and I putting this E because the E returns it's an object that comes back from the on edit trigger. It's kind of built in for Google script here and we're going to use some of the return values to determine what action to take. So I'm going to copy So the first thing we're getting back is the range from the trigger, the source, the spreadsheet, and then what sheet was active when that trigger happened. So we're going to get the sheet, which it could be the character sheet, the data sheet. And we're looking back to see if it's one of these two where the, where the change is happening, where it was happening, what range. So it could be what box is coming from. And then from that range up here, we're going to get the column and the row. So we're going to get the cell that it came from. That way we know what action to take next. And then uh, we're going to define all the sheets here. So we're going to get all the active sheets and then we're going to define each one. So we got the key sheet, the character sheet, although I'm calling it data sheet, and then the comic sheet, which is the comics. And then my first if statement is we're going to go through and we're going to find out what action to take here. So the first action I'm going to take is I'm looking at it's either going to be two, three, or four. Any change in those columns on row two where the value is not null or not equal to nothing on spreadsheet character. So basically I'm explaining these three fields. So if there is a change on any of these three, then we're going to, we're going to start populating. So let me close out that and then we're going to fill in this if statement. So first thing we're going to get is we're going to get the search info. So we're going to get cells 2 and 2 here. The search info comes from this box here. So we're going to do the 2 and the 2. And we're going to get that value. And we're going to call it search info. Next, we're going to see to make sure that search info is populated by doing another if statement. We don't want to run the API unless there is something there. The next section, we're going to start the call of our API. And uh, we're going to get go to the key sheet, which is here, 
and we're going to get these three values. So we got the public key is the first row, private key is the second row, and we're going to get this TS, which is, I call it timestamp, and that's the third row. And then we're going to roll it, all these together, we're going to build this huge string together, and then we're going to put it through this MD5 function that we put down here. And it's going to go through and create this return hash that we're going to use to call our API. You know, I call that hash key. The next section, we're going to call the API. So I got the string URL. I can go to the website and pull this API up right here, this one here. And this is how it starts. V1 public characters. And this is the V1 public characters. This is all the same. And then I got some name starts with is what we're going to use the search info from the box. And then the API key is the public key. We don't pass the private key. That's part of the hash key. So then next we put the hash key and then we put the timestamp. So we we basically send two of these along and then from there they they know what our private key is and from there they can decrypt our hash key. Um, this is just a logging statement so I can see how it returns. This is really not necessary. And I can I can take that out. Uh, the response, this is where actually we make the call, then we get the JSON, and then I put it into an array, and I call it top data. Next thing, we're going to make sure the data sheet is active. The data sheet is our character sheet, so we're going to make sure our character sheet is active. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to clear everything out, make sure everything was cleared out from the previous, and... I'm going to grab all I'm going to grab the last row that was populated and then from this range I'm going to clear it and then you have to do another statement to remove the check boxes and then we have to do another statement to remove all the images that is on the sheet. So this command grabs an array of all the images on the character sheet and then it goes through them and removes each one of them one by one. And then the last part is we're going to do the populate the data from our array that we got called top data. So I'm going to paste that whole thing here. It's a for loop. So we're taking our top data and we're going to go to our data results length. And I'll show you an example of this here. And you can kind of interact with do this on the screen. So I'm going to do the starts with. That's what we're using in our program. I'm going to do Hulk and I'm going to run it. And it'll give you the output of it down here. I'm going to kind of scroll down here. So I can uh, go through all the data coming back. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing this name, description, and I'm getting the thumbnail image those are the three things I'm bringing back but it's all wrapped in this results array so as I'm going back here I'm going down to this results so I'm going to data results and I'm trying to figure out the length of that because I'm going to go through each one of them so then the first one I'm grabbing results name which would be Hulk then I'm doing description which would be description here and then I'm getting the path and extension of the the, the thumbnail so I'm going right here I'm getting the path and extension and I'm also getting the character ID because I'm going to need that to call for the comics. So that is um, the ID right here. This 1009351. Zero, zero, 
So I'm grabbing that as well. Then I am setting my URL picture. I have to give it what kind of picture type I want. I'm going with the medium. And there's documentation here. Somewhere here that shows you how you can set what type of picture you want back. So you have to put that in here and then your extension. And then from here I'm getting my last row populated which if this is the first row it's just going to pull my header would be the last one populated. I'm going to go to the next row and then from there I'm going to do populate. So uh, right here I'm just setting it to be I'm going to align the data to the top. I'm going to set the background to gray. I'm going to set the font to 12 and I'm going to do a word wrap on each row I'm adding. So this is the one I'm setting the value the character I want to be bold. I'm inserting a checkbox on column 2. I'm doing the description on column 3. Um, I'm making sure every row is 200 high. That That's to fit the image. And then I'm doing a character ID on column 5, which is E here. I'm using that to call the comics. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to eventually just hide this column E at the end so you can't see see it. That way it looks pretty streamlined. And then I'm populating the picture on 4, column 4, which is where the picture is. And then I put a timer in here. Um, sometimes it'll get stuck on loading this picture and I, I think a lot of this time is this thing runs quite fast and this takes a little bit of time to complete and if it gets too much buildup I think it times out so I put a one second sleep here it's just to kind of help with the flow of this and that that completes this screen here so you put a character in there and it populates and that finishes this up so then the next thing that's into this if statement here with the character. The next we're going to look for, so when we click the checkbox on each row of the character, we're going to take ourselves over to the comics screen and then we're going to run another API to bring in all the comics. So we're going to set that up with this statement. So all this basically saying is we're going to search in column 2, which is this. This is where we have our checkboxes. And the search row has to be greater than 4. So anything past the header. It's got equal true, so it has to be checked. And our spreadsheet has to be character. So it's on the character here. So then we're going to start getting all the data we need for this search or this API. So here we got character ID, we got character, we got start date and end date. And we got our start and end date. Our character ID is going to be in column E and our character which will be right here. We're going to get all that data. Uh, the next statement we're going to uncheck our checkbox. That way we don't... I'm using the checkbox as kind of like a button, if you would say, but I'm just using it as a check. Um, and then when I check it, I just uncheck it. That way, if we come back to the screen, I could check it again to make it true. So, kind of using it as a button. And this is what's making it like a button. So it never stays checked. All right, the next thing we're going to do is make sure all the fields are populated before we call the API. So we're going to look for character ID, start date, and end date. And we're going to close this if statement up. And next thing, we're going to clear all the data from the comic sheet. So I'm getting the last row populated. And then I'm doing this plus one, clearing that B1 and B1. I'm clearing the 
character here. I'm clearing all the columns. And then I'll make it an active. Because that's the screen that we're going to be moving to. So the first thing I'm going to populate on that screen is the character. So which one we chose, I'm going to populate it there. And I'm doing a font of bold, a 16 font, and a wrap, just in case it's big, it, it can wrap in there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to clear all the images that were previously on that screen, because we're going to start fresh. That's that. Next thing, we're going to get all our key information and get our hash key for the call. And then after that, we're going to do our call. And this is our URL for characters. We're going to put the character ID in there. And that comes, I'm going to grab this ID because we're going to go to the next one. The next API that I'm using. So I'm using this comic one. I'm going to put the ID in here. That's required. And I do choose these two. Oh, the format. I'm just looking for comic. So I set those two fields. Uh, this is where I do. I set the date range between those two dates. Um, for this example, I'm just going to go start year 2019 like that. And I do set the limit to 100. I max, max it out. And then I run it. And this is, it kind of summarizes the call I did. So I took some of these values, but you still have to pass the hash and uh, and the key. So here's the results, and it kind of kind of the same flow as the last one. You're going to data results, and here's my URL. I don't really need this line. This is just a log line. Response. I get my JSON, and I'm calling it comic data. This is my call. These are all the things I set. I set the format, the comic, the format type, the comic. I put the date range in, the API key, the hash, and the timestamp. And I should have a limit. Yeah, the limit of 100 there. I set all that. And now I'm going to cycle through. Oh, I also declare another variable here. If I found a record, so I mark that as false, and then inside my for loop, I'll put true if I found it. So here's my for for statement, for loop statement here, and I can kind of push this back a little bit. There. So I'm going to start with this. So I'm taking my comic data, my data results, and the length. I'm going to cycle through, which I'm down to here, the results. I'm going to grab title, description. So I got the title here, the description, which is a null. And then dates. I'm going to go down to dates. I'm going to grab that. Dates. There we go. I'm looking for this on sale. On sale date this is the date I'm looking at. So dates is in another array. So we're gonna have to do another for loop to get that data. So dates. I'm going grabbing the array for dates. I'm setting this to null. And now I'm gonna loop through my dates. I'm gonna find the length of it, and then if the date type, which is this equals on sale date then I'm going to set the on sale date to the date this right there which is this 
I'm going to substring it. I'm going to cut all this out, and I'm just going to do this. So that's why I have a substring of 10 on the back end of this. So now I got my on sale date. And then I got my picture, which is up here. Should be the thumbnail. Um, I'm looking for that too. Thumbnail here. I'm getting the path and extension. So there's that thumbnail path and extension. And I'm telling it what type of picture I want. I want the medium picture. I'm building this. I'm adding the extension to the URL. Now I got my picture URL. And that picture URL is used to bring this call up here. So now the populating, I'm getting the last row populated. I'm adding one to it because I'm going to the blank row. And then uh, each one of these I'm setting the alignment to the top, the background of gray, the rapid wrap it for each cell and then the font size of 12 and then column 1 gets title, column 2 gets description and column 3 gets on sale date um, setting the height of each row to 200 setting the photo to column 4 and I'm doing a sleep to make sure everything runs pretty smooth and then I'm doing this found record equals true so whenever it finds a record it's going to set found record to true and then the last statement of this whole thing is I'm going to do the found record to make sure I have something that calls back that lets me know that if it did find a record or not I get a message so found record equals false I'm going to set a3 I'm get, getting ready to set the value of no records found so I'm basically setting this column here that says no records found. So I know if I call it, I get a call back, and then I could tell if there was no records found. So that's 12, and then I'm lying it to the top and making it bold. So that is it. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to go oh, scroll all the way to the top here. I'm going to hit save. Hopefully there's no saved all right, so that's good. Now I gotta add this as a trigger. So I'm gonna go to current project triggers. It's gonna bring this screen up. I'm gonna add a trigger. And I'm gonna add it to get function. This only gives you one option the head and from spreadsheet is we're going to drive it and what time type of trigger is an on edit and that's basically the setup for the trigger so we're going to hit save and now we're going to get an authorization to use this we're going to let google we're going to let google's wanting us to make sure that we know we're going to use this this type of script, especially because it has an API call in it, they want to make sure that we're aware that we're doing these outside calls and bringing data in. So we're going to go through the security setup here. So we're going to mark it. This app isn't verified, so we're going to go to the advanced here. We're going to scroll down. We're going to go to click there. And then the last thing we have to do is we're going to tell Google that it's okay for our account to use this API. So we're going to scroll to the bottom and select allow. Now we got our trigger set up. I'm going to go over to our function here. I'm going to correct one thing that I need to do. I'm going to take these two rows out because we're not going to we're only going to trigger off when we put in uh, the search column. So we're only going to trigger for this first sheet whenever we put like Hulk or Iron Man in here. That's when we want to kick it off. It doesn't necessarily we have to have the start date or end date in here. That's actually for the checkbox on the comics. So I'll kind of explain that. So when these are 
So with just this search column two and row two, basically this box, we're going to trigger the event. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And we got that saved. So we have that correction made. So now we can start running our sheet here. So I'm going to type in Hulk, hit return, and hopefully we should start seeing some records come in. And they are populating right now. As you can see, our ID is over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide that column when it's done here. So we got our images pulled in. I'm going to go ahead and hide this column. That way we don't see those. And now I'm going to put my dates in here for the range of what I we want the comic books to come in. So I'm going to start this uh, year, month. I'm going to say 20 till Christmas 2019. All right, now I'm going to hit the comics and see if this works. Okay, so I checked the box and it's not returning any rows. So I'm going to go back and I think I know what the issue is. Is I don't have my if statements separated out. So I need to close this first one off from our first sheet. There. And now we're starting a new one here. And I got a feeling I have way too many of these down here. So I think I'd take one away. So that should take care of that. Now we got our if statements separated. I had it all under this first one here. So basically it's looking for this is our first sheet for our character search. And this is looking for the checkbox here to see if that's hit to run this second API. So let's go ahead and try it again. Hopefully that is it. Oh, I forgot to save it. Let's save that. And now I'm going to uncheck it, which shouldn't, nothing should happen here. So it's returning false. Now I'm going to check it and see if this works. There it goes. So now I'm getting all the comic issues of Hulk in that date range. And it's starting from the most recent and going to the oldest issue. There's one more thing I need to add, and I forgot it, and I apologize. But I need to add code for this button to take, a ba take us back to the character. I mean, you could go and use this to get back, but I figured I'd add a button here. So I'm going to add this code in. Um, it goes toward the bottom. And I completely forgot it, but it's another triggered if statement. So basically, we're looking to see if there's any change on that checkbox here. And if there is, if it's true, it's on the comics page, then we're going to go and activate the character sheet. And we're going to, I'm going to make that checkbox false. So we can check it again next time. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now I can go back and now I can, hopefully this will work. I'll check this and it'll take us back to this. So then we can go ahead and search another character. I can go here, check that, take us back over, clear it out. And I don't think this one has any comics, so we should get a no records found. Then I can go back. That concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. I hope this can get you started in the Marvel's API. If you have any projects you like to work on, I hope this gets you started. Until next time.